Alrighty guys, welcome back to a brand new Big Cherry Retro React here on The Ankle. Hey Amber! We are back. Another episode, bright and early. Happy Tuesday morning, guys. Or no, Jesus fuck. Happy Wednesday morning, guys. <laughs> so we have another like really short video followed by a longer video. And it's the 30 day water challenge, which girl, <laughs> we know she didn't do that. Um, she's just constantly making all these promises and plans for herself and then never does anything with it. And then the next one is called I Cut My Hair, which is probably a clickbait title. Um, we know how Amber is with that greasy mop on her head. So this video got 27,000 views, 608 thumbs up. Um, I don't want to waste too much time, guys, so I guess let's just dive right in. Hey, guys. Oh hey, Amber. Let's turn her up. Okay, so disclaimer, I have literally no makeup on. Oh, wow. Thank you. We couldn't tell. No makeup on. I have a light right here that's showing all of the flaws. Wow, we also could not tell. Every single one of them, but we're gonna bypass that and I'm just fresh faced today. Like, I wear makeup every single day. I am breaking out because of it. Also because of the fact that I don't drink fucking enough water. Let's be- You don't drink enough water. You don't wash your makeup off. Like, that's the biggest thing. You're probably hardly showering, so. And like, let's be honest, you probably don't clean your sheet all that often either. A dirty pillowcase is just as bad as leaving your fucking makeup on, girl. And I have been really wanting to start chugging more water and I'm just not doing it. Water is so good for us, but yet I can't stop drinking diet soda. The artificial- <laughs> Shocker there. ...is super addicting. The carbonation is super addicting. I know I could do the whole sparkling water thing, but I don't like sparkling water. I've tried it. And it's gross. Like, I'm just being honest. Carbonation, just stick to the soda. I mean, I like sparkling water, but more if it's like a sparkling juice kind of thing. If I'm going to drink just plain sparkling water, then I want just plain ice cold sparkling water. Like, I have no issue drinking uh, mineral water. That's what they call it in Europe. Um, it's not called like sparkling or anything. It's just called mineral water because it has extra minerals and whatnot in it. I love the water there, you know, but I don't know. I would say my favorite sparkling water is San Pellegrino, but I feel like it's always more of like a summertime kind of drink, like a sparkling water with a lime lemon twist. <laughs> if you're addicted to it and you gotta have it, suck it up and drink sparkling, but that's not me, so I have to just suck it up and drink more water because I'm dehydrated, I can tell. She's like, I'm just gonna suck it up and drink more Diet Coke. I'm super, super dry, like I am so dry. Water will help with that. Water just is a- Hear that, guys? Amber's real dry. <laughs> Did Destiny tell you that, Amber, huh? <laughs> that you're a real dry girl? Like it helps with everything, and I was on YouTube. Like I always am. Okay, not really. That's exaggeration. But I was catching up on YouTube last night and one of my favorite YouTubers, Brittany, uploaded a video of a 30-day water challenge. And I was like, who the fuck is Brittany? It's Brittany, bitch. Click, I'm watching that video. I was expecting it to be, oh, drink a gallon a day because that's what everyone tries to do. And honestly, for some people, that's awesome. I used to drink a gallon a day back when I lived in Virginia and I was like super like healthy. I don't know how people can do that, honestly. If I drink too much water, I feel sick. Weight and stuff, but it was excessive. And that is a lot, especially coming from someone who like barely drinks water now. Like I really need to try to drink more water. That is honestly the truth. But Brittany's challenge was- Honestly, I have uh, troubles getting my daily water in as well. So I get it. I really do. I'm not gonna give her shit for that. I was looking at a while back, they make these, they're like gummies essentially, but they have a really, really high water content and they're mostly for um, people suffering with dementia so that they can easily and enjoyably get their water intake in. I was contemplating buying a pack of those just so that it would make it easier for me to get some water in. Real, raw, and normal. Like, she wasn't saying I'm- So raw, you guys. Fuck. A gallon a day. She wants to drink at least eight cups of water a day, which 
is 64 ounces. I think not that great at math. I mean, I am if I try, but right now off the top of my head, I think it's 64 ounces. Eight times eight is 64, I think. <laughs> I'm not that great. Girl, I have no clue. We're both, <laughs> we're both <laughs> blind in this instance. <laughs> Multiplication. Um, so recommended. Eight times eight. Why do I feel like that's not that high of a number? Oh no, it is 64 ounces. Okay, Amber, you were right. See, I wouldn't have even gotten that correct. I'm supposed to drink eight glasses of water a day. Anyway, I know that really you just need to listen to your body. Everyone's different. Some people need more. Some people might not even need that much in one day because- Amber, I just always find it so ironic and kind of like tragically comedic that a 500 pounder is going to sit here and tell us that we need to listen to our bodies. <laughs> Girl, when was the last time you listened to your fucking body? For real. Really, always listen to your body. And I know my body is like, water, give me water. You are dry, you're dehydrated, you're breaking out. Just water will help with these things. Girl, <laughs> there's a lot of other things that would help with it too. But she only thinks about what goes in her. And if you guys don't know, I'm not a doctor, so don't listen to me. So. <laughs> no shit, girly. No shit. Thank you for the heads up. Google or talk to your doctor about the awesome benefits of water. I know it's super simple to say. Bruh, talk to your doctor about the awesome benefits of water. What the fuck is this bitch on? <laughs> Nutrition Lynn. It's amazing for you and it can With change- With that fucking shit bun, Jesus, dude. But it's honestly the truth. It's as simple as saying walk 30 minutes a day. So I'm joining Brittany's challenge and- Yeah, as simple as saying it, but not as simple as doing it, huh, Amber? Tomorrow, I'm going to be drinking 64 ounces of water every single day. It's going to be really hard, especially for my job, for what I do. Um, uh, I'm going to try, though. <laughs> Girl, what do you mean? Just get yourself, like, one of those tall cups that you have, like, 50 of now. And just fill that up with water. And then you can refill it whenever you need. Like, come on, girl. I'm, I doubt it that your job would have an issue with you going to the bathroom more. But, like, it, I mean, if they do have an issue, it's because Amber would go and sit on the toilet for 10 or 15 minutes, like, time-stealing from her job, which, like, I have nothing against, you know, shit on the job. If you take a shit for 10 minutes every day, then, like, by the end of the week, you have almost a full hour of paid non-work, you know? But, anyways... <laughs> She would go in there for probably like 15 or 20 minutes just sitting on her phone or having like a fucking anxiety attack, some shit. Like, dude. <laughs> I know I'm going to be peeing a lot. I know 64 ounces is not a lot to some people because a lot of people drink even double that. But I want to start somewhere and I feel like this is... Girl, who drinks that much fucking water? Realistic. And that's just what I need right now. A realistic goal. So I got myself a cup. Tumbler. Thing. I don't know what you want to call this. I know it's not a tumbler and it's not a cup either. It's a bottle. Let's just say that. Um, it is 23 ounces so that means 23 oh she's gonna do more math 23 is 46 plus another 23 is 69 so if i need 64 ounces i will just drink three of these that seems simple and simple enough uh, uh simple enough like what am i doing this is probably because Girl, of lack of let's see if you even get one down or i don't know how to talk because of lack of water like that explains everything <laughs> um is yeah amber it's the lack of water certainly not your degrading brain functions messy hair don't care because Goals. That is me. I'm slaying the messy hair every day of my life. So I can use this for work because it does close. For where I work, we cannot have anything open drink wise. So hopefully this is allowed. Hopefully they'll think this is fine. I'm just assuming they will. And I love the colors. So three of these a day, that's not that hard. I know I can do this. Like I used to do so much more than that. I have a water fountain. I'm sure, girly. I'm sure. That's why we're in the state that we're in. Spencer type dealio. So that's going to be. And I don't mean Kentucky. Easy. I have cold water on the go. At work, they have uh, water dispensers as well. As well. And yeah, if you guys want to join me on this, you definitely should. Tomorrow will be day one. I will update you guys randomly, like see if I'm feeling any better, if my mind is more clear, if my skin is less dry, and if my breakouts are stopping because we don't need those things in our life. Water will help us. So yes, join me on this challenge. I shall go now. Um, water is life. Water is key. Water is awesome. Water is healthy. I'm going to end this video now. <laughs> so welcome to- Girl, what? <laughs> What is she on about? I'm super excited about it, and it's realistic, and I know I can do this, and I will succeed, I promise. So, thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye! Well, I wonder how well that's gonna go. <laughs> Been doing the 30-day water challenge myself two times this year already, and it really helped me drinking, obviously, more water and becoming more hydrated. First week was the hardest for me, like it was as if I wanted more soda than usual. 
because I knew I wasn't allowed to drink it. Anyway, have fun trying it. You are so adorable. Hope you and Destiny and the fur children are doing well. Amber, looking at your house makes me want to redecorate mine. I love your decorations. Girl, how? All we saw were those fucking mirrors. I was so shocked when you said you looked bad today. Your skin looks like it's glowing and you look overall really happy. Looking good. She did seem happier in this video. I'll say that. You know, she didn't seem so like down about herself. I love drinking a lot of ice cold water whenever I get the I'm bored, let's eat. It really helps with my craving for that. Water is so important to have. Amber ain't gonna do that. I remember when I was in like my heavy weight loss era, <laughs> um, I was drinking a ton of water. Like I'd have at least two bottles of water before I went to go eat anything, you know? Like a lot of the times you won't realize like you're not actually hungry, you're just thirsty. I'm going to do the 30 day water challenge with you. Love you, Destiny, and your fur babies. Keep on vlogging. Should I try the 30 day water challenge, guys? I mean, I don't have any glasses like that, so I don't know if I'd be getting exactly 64, but it's better than drinking the monster energy drinks I have like three times a day. Just a bunch of support and positivity, which like we love to see, but not really. So let's just jump right to I cut my hair. Hi, you guys. Hey, Amber. Well, happy October 23rd. I am all natural today. Just saying, no makeup. <laughs> Girl. Nothing. Here's a crazy mess. <laughs> as per usual, you look the same as you always do, bestie. The day off, I was just gonna stay home. I did stay home for a big portion of the day. And then I was like, what am I doing with my life? I gotta go out and I gotta go do something. So that's what I'm gonna go do. Go out. Wow, if only she had that mindset nowadays. And go do something. Christmas shop. <laughs> Goals. Before. Oh, but it's just shopping, of course. Of course. That's me. Oh, does it just want to come with it? Oh. Come on. Don't eat that counselor. <laughs> I hate that they never have, they don't even have a collar on her, dude. Like, what the fuck? Is that a caterpillar? Just out in a parking lot, no collar, no leash. Like, what the hell, dude? Both of them, Destiny and Amber. Like, you both should fucking know better. Oh, uh, that's some ignorant ass shit. Oh my god, it's dead. Oh. That poor car. First place we are going is the good old Kohl's. Yes. Okay, so we're leaving Kohl's. I came out of that door, if you're wondering. There's another door here, but now I'm going to Ross, which is right there. We got some really good stuff at Kohl's. So I'm happy about that. I'm hoping to hit the jackpot. What? Why is this smoking? Oh. Girl. <laughs> oh, that's for cigarettes. Okay, I literally thought a fire. Destiny Page! I literally thought a fire was about. Destiny Page. Start. Destiny's driving cool as I'm walking. <laughs> so, there you go. Ross is amazing, so I'm. Well, I mean, you know what? I'm not going to give her shit for that. Good on her. But you also could have just walked back to the car afterwards. Like, that's Destiny being lazy now. Like, I'm not going to give her shit, you know? At least she's deciding to walk there instead. But I hit the jackpot there. That's what I was trying to say before I thought I was about to catch fire. <laughs> Can you what? Oh, yeah. It's fancy meeting you here. <laughs> wow chandelier they get a cart yeah you gotta get something to rest on i am seriously enjoying this fall weather so much i bet girly i bet you are you're no longer sweating in all your rolls it feels so good to not be hot out like honestly last night though girl I turned into Olaf like in two seconds. I was so cold taking the breaks at work. I thought I literally. It's been so cold at night and in the morning here recently. Like, I dread having to walk goo. <laughs> Not to sound like a bad pet parent, but it's so fucking cold in the mornings when I take him out and at night when I take him out. Because I walk him right after I feed him, after I wake up and whatnot. And then I usually have to walk him again around lunchtime, like noonish. And then I won't walk him again some days until like later that night after he has his dinner. I mean, he eats his dinner at 6.37, you know? Because he also, whenever I feed him, I give him his CBD treats, which we're running out of, guys. I'm having to ration them until a new bag comes tomorrow, which fucking sucks. I can just tell that like his anxiety is higher than usual because he's not having his treats, but he's still being a very good boy. But yeah, so, you know, we're still figuring it out. We're still figuring it out. 
but he's a very easy dog like low maintenance for how big he is you think like he would be a high maintenance dog he really isn't and i love that i love that thank god dude was turning into olaf i'm not kidding but you know i'd rather be freezing than like super hot but i'd also rather just be that's true because you can always just add more on but like i don't know dude there's just some days where the cold is just too much there was one day in Brooklyn, um, I think it was a weekend because I didn't have classes or anything and my friend was over. And like we had woken up, got ready, we went to like this little cafe and had like a breakfast and we decided to sit outside for some fucking reason. I think it's because inside was crazy busy. But we sat outside and it was freezing fucking cold and then we walked to get some hot chocolate and coffee from Dunkin Donuts by our school and then we walked more to go get some like so we went to Dunkin Donuts got coffee and then we went to this donut place it's called dough I don't know if anyone's in like the Clinton Hill Brooklyn area you probably know about dough great like amazing gourmet donuts so we stopped there <laughs> and we were so fucking cold you guys like the wind in New York City just cuts through you like a fucking knife so we were all bundled up like pulled our hoodies tight tied them shut we're like just looking out of tiny holes <laughs> over our faces to see where we were walking but yeah good brooklyn times i miss brooklyn sometimes but to be honest i don't really miss living in new york city so cool like it is right now <laughs> anyways ross was a hit you guys i spent way too much money i'm okay with that because it's for other people and that makes me feel awesome like i love spending money on other people more than i bet you <laughs> i wonder if she had to call her bank up beforehand to tell them like hey guys i'm gonna be dropping a whole band tonight at ross <laughs> I spend money on myself and i love spending money on myself so just imagine like christmas is an amazing time to spend that moolah make people happy i know christmas isn't just about gifts but everyone gives gifts you guys know that <laughs> i love how the first thing she says you know christmas is that time of year to spend that money like girl <laughs> please i'm not someone like unless you really mean something to me i don't do christmas gifts like i just don't you know i think i don't know I just don't. <laughs> um, or unless it's like an agreed upon thing, you know, like a secret Santa or some shit. Like, I just, I don't participate in that. I don't know. Ew, dude. <laughs> I told Destiny, I do not want anything for Christmas. Sorry if it's windy and you guys can't hear me because it is windy. I don't know if you guys can hear me. But... So get in the car, girl. I don't want anything for Christmas. I just want to get her stuff. <laughs> like, there's nothing I want. I have everything I want. Like, I have an amazing girlfriend, I have a roof over my head, I have three beautiful fur babies that I am obsessed with, and... Is Destiny, like, still in the store? She hasn't unlocked it yet? Like, what is it? I have a job. Like, I have health in the sense of I'm breathing. Of course, I need to lose weight. <laughs> we all know this and become healthier in such ways as so. Girl, oh, if you only knew. That's not even real grammar. Is someone looking at me? Probably. Hey. Why would you wave, girl? The fuck? <laughs> Life. That's me as a YouTuber. Literally waiting for Destiny. She was like, oh, I'll be out there in a second. I don't know what she's doing. Like, Oh, she's taking her sweet time. She's probably picking out something for Dana. Uh, goals? Waiting in the parking lot? We're home. Oh my god, now Target. <laughs> Dude, they're all essentially the same store. Like, sorry, I don't really know what a Ross's is. I'm going to guess it's like a TJ Maxx. But all of these stores are literally the fucking same, dude. Um. <laughs> so this is how they want little kids to dress now. This is literally the little kid section. I'm not even kidding right now. And Destiny's feet hurt. So she's looking glam. We have been at Target for how long has it been? For a while. Like two hours. Oh, my gosh. Maybe even more. But look at that. Girl, Why? How have you been at Target for two fucking hours, dude? <laughs> Literally obsessed with this car. Where I'm from, we call them slug bugs. I know a lot of people call them, you know, different things, but this- Amber, you would total that car. I don't even think one Amber could fit in that car. A bug is on so many points right now. Like, whoever drives, drives this is slain. Why do you always gotta holler at me? <laughs> They're slain on, like, every level of their life. 
camera. She used to record right in front of so many people. Like that car's headlights were on, so someone was in that car. No shame at all. I wouldn't mind driving a doodle bug if it wasn't so small. You call them doodle bugs? Yeah. Baby, why do you get like 45 miles to the gallon? Why do you keep honking at me? I don't know. <laughs> like That's really good. I mean, I need a bit of space in my car for, I mean, now goo, but when I got the car, I needed it mainly for moving paintings from my studio at school to my apartment. I needed something that could hold like semi larger canvases, but there were still some days where I remember one day I had to send my friend in an Uber X and it cost me like 60 bucks to bring it 10 minutes down the road to my fucking apartment. Bruh, I was not happy that day, but like it was a huge canvas. He had to sit in the front seat and then like I followed the car back and met up there and then we unloaded it. Such a pain in the ass, dude. Like I said, I don't miss living in New York. 20th million time. Okay, bye. Bye, baby. Are you really, oh shit. Come on. Next stop is Meyer. Oh which my God, I'm dude. How many fucking stores are they gonna go to in a single night? Are you cold or something? <laughs> I think it feels really good out here. It did earlier, that's why I'm wearing Girl, I'm sure you do. You got, like, a Grizzly Bears fucking insulation. Oh, just got a haircut. I don't know if you guys noticed. And up a little. Amber Liz, fix it. Yes, let's show them. Right here is too long. She forgot to... That is a bowl cut. This sideburn. But this sideburn, she did cut. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to fix it. So, I'm sort of, like, shirtless right now, so you guys can't see me. But... Thank fuck, dude. Thank fuck. <sighs> this just happened. Yeah. Oh, so you literally cut your hair. Okay, dipshit. <laughs> I did some haircut, and I still need more cut. <laughs> I have a lot of split ends. This is nothing but dead hair, and I really just want more cut off, but... See, she could recognize it back then that, like, her hair was somewhat dead. Now, though, she's like, absolutely not. This is my baby. I'm not touching it. Shaking, <laughs> because I haven't cut my hair or trimmed it in the longest time. So I kind of going to stop there. Uh, I did this one. <laughs> And then Destiny came and did more. Um, I'm gonna maybe in a few days I'll cut more off, but that's enough for now because this is making me nervous and I'm getting so much anxiety over it. Girl, I don't understand like why so much anxiety around hair. I mean, I get it to a degree because like I used to be finicky about my hair, but like now I'm not and I cut it myself all the time. I don't really care. Um, I haven't paid for a fucking haircut in, like, years. <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand the finickiness around it. It's going to grow back. We went and bought these cutting scissors today. If you're wondering why there's a towel in the sink, it's because I thought, like, my hair wasn't going to come out so perfectly like this. I thought it was just going to be a bunch of droplings, and I didn't want it to get all over the floor. So, yeah. Guys, happy October 24th, if it's anyone's birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> if it's anyone I, mean, I was going to say, like, damn, look, her hair already looks that much healthier, but it's because she finally washed it. <laughs> anniversary, happy anniversary, anyone? Just because, Dave? So that pimple is very inconvenient. Just because? Like, what? Okay. We cut more of my hair today when I woke up because I wasn't happy with it. So, this is how much was cut in total in segments. <laughs> like, this is what was just cut right now. So, how long is this? Bro, so that really, did that really make a difference? And is that all of her hair or just, like, a section of it? It's like a damn foot to me. So, I think I cut a foot off my hair. <laughs> Girl, that's more than a foot. That is more than a foot. Use your mind's eye to envision a Subway sandwich there right now. That's more than a foot. And I feel, cleavage, so much better. Like, look. I am slaying these healthy ends. Can you guys see them? I don't even know. Girl, oh my god. That was so choppy. That was so bad. Look. Stop. I am slaying these healthy ends. Can you guys see Y'all, look at how choppy that is. Oh my god. They couldn't even be bothered to, like, taper it off or anything. It's just like... <laughs> oh my god, dude. Looks like Leatherface got a hold of them. I don't even know. <laughs> like, I'll show you later. But I... My hair feels thicker. I just feel better. Lighter. Like, it feels thicker, but I feel lighter. Like... Girl, she doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about. <laughs> Crazy. I just feel so much better. Yay. What can I do? Obsessed. Okay, so I just made up. Oh my god. It's actually kind of funny. Um, you know how I always say slay? And I know it's so annoying. The sun, though, makes me look like a ghost. 
The funnel. <laughs> Sometimes she's funny, guys. Hold up. Hold up. Okay. You know how I always say slay? And it's like the most annoying thing in the world? Okay, that's pretty... Well, <laughs> I made this up. <laughs> Christmas is coming up, right? <laughs> Listen to this. I'm gonna be like, oh my god, look at the car! Like, slay and reindeers. Slay and reindeers! Oh my god, you guys are gonna think that's so stupid, but anyways. Out for the day- That was very stupid, Amber. Very stupid. <laughs> What's currently happening? I'm just wearing a black tank top that I got from the good old Walmart life. I'm wearing these yellow bows with like a little- You're wearing a red tank top. Do you mean like a black cardigan thing? Diamond, fake diamonds in here. Girl, you don't gotta say it. <laughs> I'm sure we know. You could afford some nice jewelry, but you refuse to. You only have your cheap taste. Um, I don't remember where I got this. <laughs> I'm wearing this sweater cardigan that I got from- uh, Exactly. So you're not wearing a black tank top, sweetheart. You're wearing a red tank top. It's a black cardigan. Let's, Jesus, let's be a little bit quicker. Where were you from? Tarjay. It was from the good old Tarjay. Is she not drinking her water? Is that why <laughs> her brain's not working now? So it's from Target. <laughs> and this freaking adorable scarf that I can't get enough of. I'm so obsessed with this. This is slaying with the reindeers. <laughs> I'm just playing with you guys. This has emojis on it, but they're like different. They're like the improved emojis because this is a Betsy Johnson scarf. <laughs> this girl loves it. I bet she, feel, she feels so rich, so luxurious. She's like, I'm wearing Betsy Johnson. <laughs> girl, if you can buy it in TJ Maxx, it's not good. Screenshot this face, please. Okay, hold on. This takes a minute to get situated. Walking in the winter wonderland. Oh, the classic white girl autumn. <laughs> Scarfs are kind of annoying sometimes, but that's okay. Sorry, I'm looking in here. Like, I'm using you guys for a mirror. Hope you don't mind. Hun, you use the viewfinder as a mirror all the time. You just love fucking looking at yourself. Is this all right? Is this okay? No, Amber, it's not okay. I swear that's a song. Okay, for perfume, I'm gonna use Meow by Katy Perry. Slay. Slay. That's such an overly sweet perfume, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a huge fan of it. I liked, um, she had a second one, it was like a dark purple cat, and I think it was called Purr. That one I enjoyed a bit more. Slay with her. It's because I said slay earlier. A lot of you think I only act this way on my vlog, but girl, no. Like, I act this way. Oh, God. Poor Destiny, dude. You act this way all the time? Oh, I'd fucking... <laughs> I was gonna say something that would get me flagged on YouTube. <laughs> this is coming out so slow. I act this way 24-7. So Bro, I would fucking hate my life, dude. Uh, no wonder all of her exes grow to resent her so much. <laughs> She's so irritating. Slay earlier, and I was like... Slay, slay bells ring in the all in Okay, so I thought of Christmas. I was like, oh, slay with reindeers. It was a whole thing. It's stupid. I know. I get it. She, bruh. <laughs> I get it. At least she's saying it, so I don't have to. <laughs> I can be a wife job. So. Yeah, you're so crazy, Amber. So crazy. Not mentally dilapidated at all. There we go. I am ready for the day, I think. So I'm trying to successfully make a fried egg. And they ran together. That's like really annoying, but. God forbid. I mean, you put them both in the fucking band, girl. What'd you think was gonna happen? I could succeed in this. I'm also going to have a little bit of cottage cheese and I think two slices of this fully cooked. Bruh, she's still eating this to this fucking day. Ain't that wild? Real bacon. But Oscar Meyer. Success has happened. I was able to do it. Yay! And if you guys are wondering, I. Wow, good job, Amber. I'm so glad to see you can fry a fucking egg. Use that you're allergic to, apparently. The Pam, the original, because, I don't know, zero calories, it's probably alive, but who knows. Hey! Probably. Ah. If you guys are wondering why I was give you guys kisses, it's because you deserve them. Yo, girl! <laughs> we do, Amber, you don't. It's about no kisses for you. To make some scrambled eggs, that's nothing, that's nothing special, but I'm going to. 
These are clean dishes. <laughs> this side is dirty, this side is clean. I just want to clarify that before I get comments. Hey, Mindy, why is it so dirty? Girl, it's not. Okay. <laughs> Girl, no, there's no way you can fucking persuade me that those dishes are clean. Girl, bye. Those are not clean dishes. Oh, by the way, guys, this video got 181,000 views, 1.4 thousand thumbs up. It's, it is. I mean, I will be honest. I like these videos a lot more than her just sitting down and being annoying. I would rather her at least be standing up being annoying, but... Watch and watch you. And this is the bacon. Like, I just want to say right now that I'm sorry my vlogs have been kind of lame. <laughs> That's just me. You don't have to tell us that, babe. Okay, this is the pot I need, girl, and it's dirty. So I used it last night. I forgot. <laughs> I'm actually going to be right back. Okay, the deed is done. What is happening? Okay, I need to dry this. Dry, dry, dry. Uh-uh. Um, what is she singing? So I just also peep the little Starbucks cup back in the Keurig. How bougie, Amber. How bougie. Video about. So it looks like she drinks Starbucks every day, but it's really just her Keurig that, you know, got bashed over her head. Health. You guys probably won't see it for a little bit. Because the order of my videos, like, my vlogs go up in order. My sit down videos don't like. I know a lot of people are like, why do you do that? It's just easier. <laughs> <laughs> why do you do that? <laughs> but in that video, I I'm using Pam. I have a setup. Um, I'm confabulated. I'm trying to talk and do it at the same time, girl. We haven't seen you drink any water. I can't talk and do. I'm making scrambled eggs for Destiny and I. Okay, where was I at with this conversation? Damn, dude, she's worse than me, and I smoke. <laughs> How do people do talk shows, huh? They have to sit there and talk and do. Well, they have brains for one. Um, they probably like finished high school at least. Um, <laughs> not giving shit to people that don't finish high school. Amber finished high school, but like by the skin of her fucking teeth. Same time. Okay, my background and my lighting for this video is so good. I'm. So Girl, get some curtains for the dining room or whatever. Like, fuck. So happy with it. I don't know what you all are gonna think, but that's cute. That just splattered all over me. But I hope you guys like it. I think I just splattered it. Ew. The way she just I hope you guys like it. I'm not a cook. I don't think I did. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> um, I'm super excited. Yes. So should I make two eggs each? That seems legit. Legit. Baby, do you want bacon? Oh, mm -hmm. look at her, so sweet, cooking her baby some food, scrambling some eggs. Oh, she don't want bacon. So when I make scrambled eggs, well, I she probably doesn't want the fucking microwaved bacon, girl. Don't scramble them. I just put them in here, this good old thing, and then I scramble them as I go. That's how most people do it, babe. I think I'm gonna put salsa in mine, girl. Okay, so, boring vlog 101. Amber Lynn is the most boring girl on YouTube. Yes. Well, there's some of that famous once in a blue moon uh, self awareness. Okay, I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> okay, I totally forgot to say happy 25th, October 25th. Like, I forgot to say that. I don't like when I forget to say that. Oh, we are jumping along. That's like my that's like my jam, that's what I say. Okay, so if you're wondering, this is my badge. It's not a necklace. I didn't wanna wear a necklace today because I feel like my earrings are like so, like, hey, how you doing? I love these. I got them from... Girl, when has that ever stopped you before? <laughs> you will wear gaudy on top of gaudy. It doesn't matter. W. I also have a bow, so I don't want to, like, overpower everything with a necklace. So. Oh, yeah. You don't want to overpower it. Absolutely. Iris Apfelin. Yeah. We're going to go to work, and I'm kind of not excited about it, but you got to do what you got to do to make the money and to make a living. You know what I'm saying? So, bye. Howdy ho, partner. How's that cookie? Okay, so we are at lunch break at work, and it's only 30 minutes long, but we were able to go to KFC real quick. I got the famous bowl, and that comes with potatoes, gravy, corn. She definitely was like, Destiny, Destiny, and Destiny, let's go. Let's go to KFC. Come on. Let's go. Come on, girl. Also, just because, like, <laughs> they have to spend that lunch break together. 
and it's so good because we didn't have time to pack our lunch this morning and we left the what you would call it so what are they called lunch, box. lunch boxes at work so we didn't even have our lunch boxes so i guess it was just meant to happen would you <laughs> It was meant to happen, okay, guys? It wasn't just by accident. They were meant to get KFC this night. The number one. What's in the number one? <laughs> um, popcorn, chicken, potato wedges, and drinks. But yours can Bruh, do you know how upset I am that um, they no longer have popcorn chicken? Like, you can no longer just get, like, those big things of popcorn chicken for, like, five bucks. That pisses me off, dude. That pisses me off. I would only eat the popcorn chicken from KFC. And now, the fuck? Can you give me the cookie? Yes, I gave her the cookie because I didn't really want it. I have this right here. Oh, wow. Amber didn't want a cookie? Wow. Look, guys, she can say no to temptation. A little musketeer. And I have a few of the small little Snickers and Milky Ways, too. Yeah, I'm sure you got the whole fucking Halloween candy bag in front of you. Alright, so oh, we're gonna have to go. We have to go clock in in about I don't know, four like, minutes. Four minutes. Oh bye! Hey guys, so today is the it's next It's gonna take her those four minutes to walk back. Hey, I just wanted to come on here and kinda end my video. Um it's been going on for quite a few days. Uh Destiny's been having some chest pain and it's going to her shoulder and stuff. Like this happened when we were living in Florida and now it's just happening. Oh, we're in the acid reflux arc again and i'm pretty worried about here worried about her so please keep her in your thoughts and if you guys pray you can pray oh my god not the thoughts and prayers <laughs> if you guys have positive thoughts please send those out do whatever you can just any positivity will be awesome um i'm hoping it's just like stress like you know life can be stressful because i'm stressed girl yeah it's stress from dealing with your ass that's for fucking sure um or i'm hoping it's just like her ass ain't it so sad that literally like i mean except for feline as far as we know she has negatively affected the health of all of her partners. How fucked up is that, dude? That's so fucked up. You have to be a different breed of nasty, evil person to literally take that much of a toll on someone that it's, that their mental issues start affecting their health. That's bad. Because the hospital has said that in the past. Um, sorry, I was wondering what fell behind me. It was a piece of paper. That'll be the title of this video. Amber Lynn makes her girlfriend sick. Uh, so yeah, mm, not really sure what to say. Uh, not gonna do a comment of the day, so my apologies. But hope you guys had a great day today, and I'll see you in the next video. Alrighty. Well, there's that. Amber Lynn, please save your life. Watching this in 2019 is breaking my heart. This girl is worth saving. Yeah, maybe the crystal era amber was worth saving but i don't know she by this point has fucked up majorly binge watching alr went for an eight kilometer run a kilometer <laughs> i know we're the only country that uses miles and whatnot but like it just fucks my brain up <laughs> now back to binge watching lol this girl is good for my health you should watch her while you run honestly just have her playing in your ear that'll push anyone to success i am definitely praying for her keep us posted i have anxiety and it causes me to have severe chest pains sending prayers and lots of love to you both i mean yeah it probably was anxiety from having to deal with her your videos always make me feel better when i'm down you and destiny are awesome okay love seeing you do all the walking honestly same great job and your hair looks really healthy too not when you look at that fucking hack job at the bottom. <laughs> Hope Destiny feels better. Hopefully it's nothing too serious. Wrong too. Maybe just anxiety or stress. Yeah, both caused by Amber. Your hair looks so good. So healthy and shiny. It's because she finally washed it. <laughs> you should wear it straight down more often. Destiny's hair looks great too. Love to see you two out and about. Praying for destiny. Your hair looks fantastic. You're a real sweetie. Sending lots of good vibes to you and destiny. Dot, dot, dot. Anyone else loving Al in this video? She seems so upbeat and positive. I mean, yeah, she does. I don't know, dude. I can't... It just always stays in the back of my mind that, like, destiny said they fought all the time. Like, literally, all of the time they were fighting. So, this positivity, it just seems 
fake because we know how Amber is. Anytime something's going really bad, she's going to frame it as, oh no, everything's sunshine and rainbows over here. So like, I don't know if I can trust it, you know? I started watching because your life seemed to be like a train wreck I couldn't look away from. But day by day, post by post, you seem to be doing so much better. I'm proud of you. <laughs> that was six years ago, guys. Let's not rag on them too much. <laughs> but we, we see where our girl has gone since then but yeah anyways guys thank you so much for tuning in um i want to get this edited and scheduled and all that bullshit blah 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 goo says hi and he thanks everyone for watching because you know each day we get closer and closer to this being the way that i'm gonna feed him <laughs> so anyways yeah thank you guys so much um of course, I always love hearing from everyone, um, especially like since these are scheduled to post before I even wake up. So like I wake up to a bunch of messages from you guys and whatnot, and I just really do appreciate it. And I love hearing from you. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Oh, let me also say the next video, it's another short one. So we'll do a double. It's book recommendations and the next one after that is update on destiny. So maybe that's the video of them in the hospital. I don't know, but we'll see. We'll see. But anyways, guys, yeah, thank you so much again. Um, I can't say that enough, truly. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.